Brad, starting off uh, RJ Hunter, we know what type of a player and person he is, but signing him to a two-way contract and just kind of having everything come full circle for him. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a neat story. Um, I think one of the toughest things that I've been a part of um, over the last six years was when we had those 16 guaranteed contracts in the fall. We had to make a decision on one, and we ultimately had to waive RJ because we thought he was a high upside player that um, had really gotten better, that was going to work hard and be better. And, um, so I think we're all really excited that we're able to have him back and he'll be up in Maine um, as he gets uh, retransitioned to us. But I'm sure he'll spend whatever time uh, we can uh, with us as well. So we're excited to have him. How does he change revolve? Well, I think the biggest thing, um, and you can just kind of look at the stats, right, um, from the G League the last couple of years, but he, he always was a guy that really knew how to play. Uh, I thought he got better defensively in our time. Um, and then he's really been knocking down shots. You know? so, He's never going to be, uh, you know, the strongest guy in the world, but he is stronger than probably people give him credit for. Um, and he can use that length um, and his mind to really affect the game on the defensive end. And then on the offensive end, if, if he's making shots, uh, he's a really hard guy to guard because he's, I think, you know, probably his, his best attribute offensively is passing off actions. Um, and so the shot making really opens that up, and he's been making them last two years. Coach, it seemed like both here and at all the places that he moved on to, it seemed like people didn't know exactly what his position was or what he was best at. Where, where do you see that he's gone in that area and kind of picked up what, what he really he, does best? He's a playmaker. He can make plays off of screens off the ball and on it. Um, and he's a guy that had to get better. It's a hard league to play in. It's a hard league to be in. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought, again, the stories that are the, that I'm most fond of are the stories where, you know, guys have to take a step back and really work their way uh, to get into it. And kudos to him for doing that. Brad, they haven't used it a lot so much the last few games, but there has worked for them in time. Yeah, is, that, is that something that just another thing to think about? Is that the concern with it, or what is? We've seen more zone in the last month than we have in five years, um, and uh, in the last week probably. Um, you know, Brooklyn played it quite a bit. Um, Dallas, a couple of possessions before that. Obviously, Miami's played it. Miami played it against us at our place last year. And, um, kind of helped change the course of that game. Um, but no, it's good and, and it makes sense. You know, I think one of the things when you're playing big in the league right now is hard to cover everything. Um, and when they put that lineup out there with Kelly and Adebayo and, um, and you know, Derek Jones and you know, that second sometimes Wade's in there. They're super long in that zone and big. Um, so that's a, that's a tough thing to attack. You just got to, you know, do what you do best. Spread the floor, make plays, and um, be in attack mode. You know, I think one of the things that we all do sometimes when you face defenses you don't see all the time is settle. you gotta, you got to really work to attack the rim. Specifically on that Kyrie against the end zone seems to be ultra aggressive. Like one time you got to the paint, next time pull up. He didn't, there was no hesitation in him. Is that you, hey, there is always want to be aggressive, or is that him just making plays? Um, I think that's, you know, obviously um, when we're in the zone, and you don't spend a ton of time on it in preseason, you don't spend a ton of time on it in the game. But ultimately, is here are a few small actions we want to use. Um, but generally, here's what the space that we want. Here's what we want to do to attack the teeth of that zone and then make the right read out of it just like anything else. And so Kyrie's excellent at that. Could you talk about settling? You guys made a lot of shots recently. Um, is there a fear that because you've been making shots that on a night like this where you might be a little tired, you're going to rely on the shot making rather than doing the things that it takes to get those shots? Yeah, you know, I don't really think of it as a fear. Um, probably more things to be scared about than that. But I think, uh, you know, ultimately, We've got to attack. We've got to attack and we've got to play together and we've got to seek out great shots. Um, whether they're in man zone, 2 2 1, full court extended man, whatever they're in, like we've got to seek out great shots. And, um, we've been better at that recently, but yeah, there's always a. You, you never want to revert back into holding the ball. And so we want to make sure that ball's popping and we're always on alert for great shots. Mark, so you have a 
sort of a is that high wide point five like moving the ball half second or is that possible? Yeah, I mean I think there's a lot of coaches in the league who talk about that and, and um, just you know you're trying to make quick decisions with the ball you're either driving pass or shooting in point five seconds. The bottom line is just the the idea of get it through it. Sometimes a shot's the best thing you can do. Sometimes a quick drive. Very rarely is the hold and drive uh, the best thing you can do, especially as um, you know these defenses get even quicker and better and, and more versatile. Uh, I think Coach Bo has been at the forefront of that, uh, you know, uh, for a long time, and it's one of the reasons why I think they've had such great success. Is even when they had the, those guys here and LeBron and Wade and Bosch, and um, they really moved the ball. And they really flung it around the court. Thanks. Thank you.